Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Siti Nunadira binti Muhammad Farid Anwar and I'm from MCT42 Hawaii. Today, I would like to talk about improving maternal health. So, before I start, I would like to share to you guys the myth and the facts about pregnancy. Did you know that in pregnancy, there are a lot of myths? Well, some of the myths didn't even make any sense in a scientific way, of course. Firstly, the public believes that the shape of your belly can predict the gender of your baby. This statement is 100% not true. So, what was the explanation behind this? People believe that if you're carrying low, you're gonna have a baby boy, while carrying high, you're gonna have a baby girl. The shape of a pregnant woman's belly is related to the abdominal muscle. If a woman has a higher than average belly, it typically only signifies she has a strong abdominal muscles or that she is expecting her first child. Now you know that the typical legend is a myth. Okay, that's one of the myths that exists in the community. What about facts regarding the pregnancy? So, women typically have a uterus the size of an orange and can expand to the size of watermelon during pregnancy. Wow, that's a big difference in size. All women should be called Wonder Women because they are so strong to carry and raise another life in their belly. So everyone, please appreciate your mother. Talking about pregnancy, maternal health is important during this crucial period. As a mother, you're not only taking care of yourself but also your baby in your belly. That's a big responsibility to handle that. But deep down, I know that all women have a strong soul to face that. Maternal care is important to reduce maternal morbidity and maternal death. Thus, during pregnancy always happen because a woman's body in this space is fragile. A woman can easily feel sick because their physical condition is changing. So it is hard to adapt to the change at first. Prego mama is willing to go through that phase to ensure the baby's safety. Of course you can, but you must ensure that the food contains the nutrients a pregnant woman needs. Based on the food pyramid, you need to eat vegetables, fruits, dairy, grains, and proteins to have a healthy body. However, we need to eat according to the serving that was advised by the dietitian. Basically, a prego mama should practice a diet based on the food pyramid so that the baby can grow healthily in the belly. So, based on the food pyramid, the biggest serving that we should take is rice, which is 3 servings. Next, vegetables intake is also, three servings and fruits is two servings of intake. For dairy products and proteins, we should eat moderately, which can be eaten in one or two servings only. The most least intake is fats. Fats, oils, sugar, and salts should be taken in a small amount as the ingredients can lead to uh, diseases if taken in a big amount. Of course, you will need the additional vitamins for your baby. Some of the vitamins that are commonly taken by pregnant mothers is vitamin A. Vitamin A is important because 
it helps in the process of embryogenesis and also can limit the risk of teratogenesis. Uh, embryogenesis is a process whereby during the early stage of fertilization when an embryo develops into a fetus. Next, pregnant mama also commonly take the folic acid supplement. Folic acid can prevent the defects of a neural tube of a fetus. A study shows that pregnant mama who took the folic acid before conceiving can prevent the neural tube defects. So there are a lot of benefits in taking um, supplements during pregnancy, but make sure to consult your physician before taking any additional supplement that was not prescribed by the hospital. Did you know that expecting mama also can enjoy doing light exercise during pregnancy? Exercise is important to stay fit and healthy. So, what are the exercises that expecting mama can do? The exercises that expecting mama can do are walking, aerobic, and stretching exercises. Though you will gain a lot of weight during pregnancy, worry not. Let's do the exercises. Like exercises during pregnancy have a lot of benefits for expecting mama. Expecting mama can reduce the risk of preterm birth if doing exercises regularly. Preterm birth happens before 37 weeks of pregnancy whereby it can risk the life of the baby and the mother. The exercises can make the uterus stronger to hold the fetus thus reducing the risk of premature birth. During pregnancy, it is inevitable that mama will eat more to ensure the baby growth in the womb. However, there are always risks of disease that can happen to pregnant women. Therefore, exercises can reduce the occurrence of gestational diabetes that can happen during pregnancy. It is concerning as diabetes is common that can happen to the newborn baby. A baby that was born with diabetes needs to depend on insulin for the rest of their life. Furthermore, exercises encourage a smooth vagina delivery. Exercising helps our muscles to be stronger and firm, especially in the pelvic area. A strong muscle also reduces the trauma during childbirth as there are less cysts on the vagina. Newborn babies also have a low chance of complications during the delivery. This helps the first time mama to understand her body and ensure the baby's safety during delivery. Wow. A healthy body is very, very important for Prego Mama. I know that being pregnant is a precious moment for a woman, though I myself never experienced it in my life. I believe that this is a quiet moment for every couple that has been expecting a child. Being pregnant is tough, however, there are a lot of lessons to learn during pregnancy as a token to grow to be a better person. So. I would like to give some suggestions before ending my video. First, don't forget to take your breakfast. Start your day with an energy booster so that you're not gonna be tired fast. Make sure to keep yourself safe and avoid doing heavy work. Let your husband do it. Most importantly, do avoid taking alcohol and undercooked foods that can affect your pregnancy. Also, you should eat foods that are high in fiber that can help in your baby growth. As a mom, you need to improve and maintain your health to ensure a safe delivery. And always seek advice from your physician before doing some activities that you're not sure about. Therefore, thank you for spending some of your time to watch this video. I hope you learn new things from my video. Bye!